Hello and welcome back to another yellow case tutorial. My name is Matthias and we're looking at Caldera. Here at yellow case, we use Caldera both in our in-house fine art print shop as well as we're an authorized Caldera rip reseller. We believe wholeheartedly in this rip and we've used many rips before it, but it's the one that we prefer to use for our own work. What we're going to be looking at here is how to add a new roll or page size to Caldera to any one of your printers. When you open one of your printers, under loading, you'll notice you have all these different roll sizes and maybe a couple sheet sizes such as this A3 and Super A3 down here. And I'm looking at my Epson 11880 and these are the, the default roll sizes and page sizes that it comes with in Caldera. But what if I have a different roll that uh, I bought from a third party or perhaps a, sh a sheet that is not listed here? How do I use that? Well, we need to create a new page or roll size. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to close the Epson printer and go to File, Printer Setup up here under the File menu. When you do that, your Server's Administration panel will open up and you'll select the printer that you want to add a page to, in this case, my Epson Stylus 11880. I'll configure it by clicking here on Configure. And on the top, you'll notice there's a series of tabs, the rightmost being Pages. Select that. Very important, make sure that your unit of measurement is set correctly. I, I prefer inches, so I'm going to select inches here. And I'll click on New to add a new page. Now I can add a roll or a sheet by toggling between these two. So let's add a roll first. I'm going to add a 50 inch roll by typing roll 50. And you can name it however you like, but for rolls, um, in the, the default uh, nomenclature is to type roll and then the roll length. So, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll type 50 inch here. And there'll be no way to enter the height because this is a roll. And rolls can be of different lengths. So. I'll do 50 for width. The margins, I'll leave the default. These are the default margins for this printer for this roll. And all I need to do is click on OK. You'll notice now I have a 50 inch roll here. It says roll 50. I can create a new one. And let's create a page. Let's make a 13 by 19 sheet. I'll make a 13 inch width, 19 inch height. I'll leave the margins as they are once again and click on OK. So there's my 13 by 19. There are three other buttons here. You can select edit to edit a page once again like the one I just created. I can delete it by clicking on delete or duplicate it to make a duplicate of it and then maybe adjust let's say the margins on it. So I could have a 13 by 19 with different margins. Once you're done editing this, click on Proceed and type in the password, which is usually Caldera by default, and click on OK. It'll insist that the server for the printer that you're creating a new page for be restarted. Click on Restart Now. It'll take one second, and then you'll be able to close down the server's administration panel. And the next time you open up your printer driver, in this case the 11880, and you click on the media size, you'll be able to select, for example, 13 by 19 here or the 50 inch roll. So it's as simple as that. I uh, hope this helps. Let us know if you need any uh, upgrades to your Caldera software training or want to uh, get into a RIP.